Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. In this video, we will answer some uh, Abdul as usual. And please, you know, Abduls, just don't text. What about you? You know, I see people challenging me in text. They want to debate me in text, but nobody want to debate me real. We can debate over Skype. We can debate over radio. We can even debate over TV. Choose whatever, whatever choice you have. So please uh, find me brave Muslims who dare to debate. You know, uh, you know by, by the way, do you know that uh, uh, we go back to uh, to the topic. We have a Muslim is asking a question, and you know Muslims always they come with very uh, funny questions, which supposedly uh, supporting their point. But the fact always when Muslims make a claim, it's supporting us, not them. Muslims are not intelligent nation. Let us see what is uh, the challenge this guy he says. Uh, he says. Explain to me why Jesus say in Matthew chapter 7, 20, 23, if what are you saying is right. So in here I am, you know, uh, uh, like people in here speaking about that Jesus is God. Supposedly he's saying, if, you, if Jesus is God, explain this verse for me, you know. Okay, let me explain this verse for you. Uh, and by the way, the best way to know if Muhammad is a prophet from God or not, look, from their fruit you shall know them. And that goes for anything. From their fruits, you shall know them. So let us judge the fruits and see who is Islam. And actually, this is what we do always. And here, the Muslims it says, okay, why is Jesus saying here, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter uh, into the kingdom of heaven. But that he uh, does what, what I say, what, what my father say. So what Jesus is saying here, uh, according to the Muslims, uh, this is how they understand it. That Jesus is saying that the one who say to him, God, God, he don't go to heaven. You see, the, you see the, how silly the Muslims? The fact, the verse is very clear. It's a, it's a very silly claim, as always. Muslims are very silly-minded people. The verse saying, not everyone say, Lord, Lord. Not all who say, Lord, Lord. You see the difference, Abdul? If Jesus said, not all who say to all those who say to me, Lord, Lord, will not go to heaven. That will be a valid argument. But you stupid, silly Muslims, and I'm calling you stupid because this is this is a stupidity. Jesus is saying that for many of those who say to me, God, God, and actually the Muslims, they ask us, show me, brother, show me a challenge, show me one verse in the Bible says that Jesus is God. He never said that. It's in the front of you, you idiot. He is saying, Lord, Lord, not everyone, but many of those who say, Lord, Lord, to me will go to heaven. But those who they are using my name, for their own equity, those people, they don't belong to me. And look, many will say to me in that day, which day? The day of judgment, he is the judge. And even in Islam, by the way, Jesus Christ is the judge in the judgment day. What they will say to him in the judgment day? Many, not all. Huh? And here, all they will say, Lord, Lord. And here, many they will say to me, they say to me, because here they are questioning why he rejected them. Many will say to me, in that day, Lord, Lord, haven't we uh, prophesied in the name? You know, how, how they can prophesy in the name of Jesus and his, his God? You don't prophesy in the name of a prophet. You don't prophesy. When you prophesy, it means you became a prophet. Do you know what prophesy mean? When you prophesy, it means you are a prophet. How you prophesy in the name of someone if he is not God? I cannot prophesy in the name of Muhammad. Because a prophet, he cannot send a prophet. If he is a prophet, Muhammad is not. Uh, uh, can he claim to be a prophet of God, not a prophet of a prophet? So here we go in front of you, Jesus is their Lord, is their God. So didn't we prophesy in your name? And not only that, haven't we like, cast demons out, the devils out of, of people? Didn't, didn't we even make miracles by, by just by the power of the name of Christ? Notice with me in here, guys. Those people, they are just using the name of Christ to cast demon, to, to make miracles. This is how powerful his name is. But why Jesus he refused them? Because they are doing those work for their own, equi in, 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 you know, like a, for their own benefit. They are not doing it for the Lord. They are getting benefit from this. As those who... Uh, 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 do go uh, uh, a great work supposedly, but they take a lot of money from people. You know, they they drive fancy cars, they have big houses, and at the same time he claimed to be a minister of God. 
those people, even, even if he can cast demons by the name of the Lord, this is the power of the Lord, not your power. But he used, he used the good work of the Lord for his benefit. Somebody will say, what well, the Lord, he allowed him. Because at the end, they tell people, they will see that this is the act of the Lord. This is still happening in, by the name of the Lord. People will believe in the Lord. But it's still God, he knows that this person is hypocrite. He is doing those things for his benefit. So he, he, he is doing good, by the way. He is doing good because he's doing wonderful. He is doing, uh, he is casting demon out. That will help people. He is doing good, but yes, he is using the name of the Lord for doing good, but that good is done to people, but not only to do it so people, they love the Lord, but because they themselves, they are getting a benefit from it. So those people, Christ will reject them. So the verse in here, in, in a very clear method saying that I am your Lord, and not everyone says to me, there's many that will say to me, Lord, Lord will go to heaven. But not everyone. You see, the everyone is exception. Not everyone, which means this is the exception of the group. We have a group of people. Huh? We have a three billion Christians today. And all of them, they say, Lord, Lord. So what Jesus is saying, not everyone say to me, Lord, Lord. Not all of you, hey, all of you, three billion say, Lord, to me, Lord, Lord, you will go to heaven. No. Because many of you are fake. You are not real. You are a hypocrite. You don't know me even. Like, you know, you don't, you know, because simply you don't practice what I said. The verse is very clear. You want, you know, you know, to belong to someone, to belong to someone, you accept and you practice what he taught you. You know, uh, imagine you're, you know, you claim to be an angel, but you act like a devil. It doesn't make sense. Either you belong to the devil department, if we can call it this way, or we belong to the to the to the angels department. I cannot be a devil, and I am uh, I am the angel at the same time. The Bible teaches that the the devil himself was an angel. After he became a devil, he is not an angel no more. Because he became a pure evil. So you you don't say Lord Lord, and the same time you are doing the devil act. So Christ is saying here there is an exception. From those who say to me, Lord, Lord, those who say to me, Lord, Lord, they will go to heaven. But not everyone. So the Muslim try to say to you, oh, here Jesus saying that if you say to him, God, God, you don't go to heaven. It doesn't say that, you idiot, and you are a liar. Same time, uh, notice in here the authority of Jesus over rejecting people to go to heaven and accepting people to go to heaven. Because if Jesus is a prophet, this is not his job anyway, to tell people, get away from me, I do not know you, you don't go to heaven, you go to hell. Who is he if he's a prophet? So the authority in here is proving who is Jesus. And actually, the Muslims, they don't read the, the, the Bible. Oh, they, 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 they quote verses from the Bible as somebody, you know, they post in websites. But if you go to the end of this chapter, you will see that Jesus speak with authority. You see it? Christ don't make speeches his speeches is the authority. Why? Because simply he himself is the word of God. And actually this is what the Quran says. He is the word of God which bestowed into Mary. And he is a spirit proceeding from, from, from him. Now, I can show you from the Quran. I'm making, not like making things up. Chapter 4 verse 171. And this is the Muslim translation. Not even mine. Read with me. Jesus Christ is the only prophet who he is the word of God. And when, 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 where is the word of God is coming from? Is it from the earth? No. It bestowed into Mary. al -qaha, the word, the word al in Arabic, it means he throw, her, throw from high. al -qaha. So Allah, he throw his words to Mary. So from where the word of God is coming? From heaven. Who is the word of God? Is Jesus. So Jesus is not from this earth. And the funny, the Quran says that Jesus is the same as Adam. Uh, uh, both are created from mud, which is stupid. This is contradiction for the Quran, because the Quran itself it says that Jesus was a word best way to Mary. There is there is no stage of mud. What mud? What mud? Actually, even Jesus in this verse is not even from Mary, because Mary she did not she gave birth to a child, but this child is not from Mary. This is from God, and this is why if we go to chapter 19, verse number 19, the God of Islam says, "I give thee the gift of the Holy Son." It's a gift from God. Holy Son. I'm not the one who's saying that. This is chapter 19, verse number 19. Uh, 
supposedly this is the angel speaking to Mary, uh, you know, saying to her, I am only a messenger of the from the, the Lord to announce to thee the gift of the of a holy son. Just wait. Jesus is the holy son of who? Uh, the question. He is a holy son before even he, Mary she know about him. He is a holy he is called holy son before even Mary have that son. So he's a son of who? He have no father, and actually in this point he have no mother yet. But still he is called the Holy Son. And he is a gift from God. And he is coming from above. And he is the word of God. And he is a spirit proceeding from God. As we read in here. Read with me. When we say proceeding, proceeding, I-N-G, it's mean he is connected to God. What is connected to God? It's mean he's God. Because you cannot be what connected to God. How, how my spirit is, is my, my spirit and the spirit of God, the same one cannot be. And that explained the holiness of, of Christ and his perfection. This is why even Muhammad, he said, every son of a man, when he's born, shaitan will touch him, except who? Except Mary and Jesus. Okay, why Satan, he cannot touch them? Because they are holy. Because of their holiness. And why he cannot touch Mary too? Because, because of Jesus. This is the plan of God that Mary, she is going to be holy. Holy in here doesn't mean that Mary is God. No, but because she is a protector, which means she is a pure. Somebody will say to me in here, okay, the word holy in here means Jesus is just a pure. That's perfect. That's wonderful. But that proved that the Quran is full of contradiction because the Quran says it clearly. And your prophet Muhammad said, every son of Adam is a sinner. Every human being is a sinner, but Jesus is not. How you say to me he is a pure when he's a, he's a human? So those verses actually, if we look at them and look at the Quran and look at the Bible, we will see that actually the, 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 the Quran proving the holiness and the perfection of Christ, proving that Christ is God. Because the Quran even says that Jesus is a, crea a creator. Imagine, Jesus, he created from the mud the bird. Exactly how Allah, he created Adam. He breathed into the mud. He made a figure of a, of a, of a bird. He, he, he breathed into it and the, and the bird fly. And right now today, according to the Quran, there's birds are flying in our, our sky, you know? Right now, created by Jesus. We do not know if the Quran, like, if the Quran says that Jesus created people, uh, Muslims, they will accept that. Actually, you, you, can, you, you have to accept that. Because if Jesus can create a bird, he can create a human. Or what he need, he make a figure of a, uh, of a mud. That's all. And then he breathes through it. doesn't matter what it is. And when you say the Quran, that Jesus, he breathed into things and he give them life, it means he is a life creator. Not only just a, a, a figure of creator. He give life. Who can give life? The Muslim, they say to you, by the permission of Allah, or, or, or just wait, just wait. By the permission of Allah, you can give life. How that can be? Allah is lending his power to Jesus? Are you telling me that Jesus is the vice president of creating life? Permission doesn't mean anything except that Jesus is still here. Do things nobody can do. Only God. What permission? God gave me permission to be God like him? I thought the Muslims believe the Creator is God. When we say the Creator, it means we mean God. But no, this is, cannot be true. In Islam, cannot be true because the Creator in Islam is Jesus too. Jesus is the Creator. This is why the Quran says that Allah is the best of the Creators. The Quran admit that there's many Creators. We have two chapters saying that in the Quran, chapter 23, verse number 14, and chapter 37, verse 125. And you can read any translation you want. He is the best of the creators. Allah admitting that he is the best of the creators. And you know how we know that Allah even the best of the creators? No, no proof. Just what he say about him. I can say I'm the best of people. Uh, you know, it's not important what you say about yourself. Do you have a proof? And actually, the proof that Jesus is God, even from the Quran to, if we go to chapter 16, verse number 17, where it says, Allah himself saying, is the one who create is equal to the one who create not? Do you see it? Is the one who create equal to the one he create not? But Jesus is a creator. And the funny Muslim, they say that Muhammad is even better than Jesus. When Allah, he says that the one who create, do you think, like, why you want to worship someone else when the creator, is the one who create is the same as the one who create not? So what is the unique thing about God? Is it to create? How you know who is God? Is the one who create, and this is Jesus in the Quran. He is the creator. I hope I did answer this, Abdul. Follow with me please with more videos, Christ is Lord and Islam is false. I mean to that.